MC decision was adopted, paving the way for two countries, Switzerland and Serbia, to lead our organization in 2014 and 2015 in a concert, concerted manner. I would be fair to say that this unprecedented bid aroused curiosity or even concerns among many on how our two states usually perceived as different in many aspects, will function throughout the annual consecutive chairmanships. Nevertheless, we decide to embark on this endeavor to respond to challenges and uh, through joint engagement and close cooperation, offer our efforts for the benefit of the organization. On the one hand, Switzerland who had already served as the chairmanship of the OSCE, is widely known as an influencing country with abundant resources and ex ex expertise and with long-standing and high reputation in international affairs. On the other hand, there is Serbia as a country with difficult and painful recent history passing through reform processes with substantial assistance from the OSCE. Despite these differences, Switzerland and Serbia established a real partnership which could serve as an example and perhaps as a model for the future. During this and uh, the following year, we are mark marking important anniversaries of historic events triggered in the heart of Europe, but with unprecedented consequences for the destiny of the man mankind. The past should not be forgotten, in particular the victims of the wars. Nevertheless, we should draw lesson lessons from it for the future, so as to overcome misperceptions, dispel illusions and avoid mistakes, while aiming to achieve more stability, security, prosperity, both within our societies 